Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be doing two types of digital signal transmission. So first is the baseband transmission and the second is the broadband transmission. So in the previous video, we have learned that uh, information in the form of signals can be transmitted either in the form of analog signals or in the form of digital signals. Now digital signal transmission can be done either using baseband transmission or broadband transmission okay now let's understand what are each of these in baseband transmission we basically are transmitting a digital signal but we are not changing this digital signal into an analog signal okay so without changing the digital signal in its original form we are sending it uh, during baseband transmission through the transmission channel or the communication link or the physical media that you are using for transmission okay now a uh, baseband transmission requires a channel that has a bandwidth which starts at zero okay so the bandwidth must be starting at zero the range of frequencies is uh, known as the bandwidth and the channel needed for baseband transmission should have a bandwidth that starts at zero also baseband transmission requires a dedicated medium this means that when signal is propagating only one frequency will be propagating through that multiple frequencies cannot be sent through the channel that means if communication is happening between a particular sender a and receiver b and if this channel is shared by other people also then at a time only one signal will be sent at any given time this medium will behave as a dedicated medium and it will not be shared so these are the requirements for baseband transmission okay now the example of baseband transmission is the wired lans that we use in our homes in our uh, it, they are applicable or they are used at different places in our professional lives also so wired local area networks use baseband transmission and in baseband transmission the bandwidth is directly proportional to the bit rate that means if you want to increase the number of uh, bits that you want to send that means if you want to increase the bit rate you will have to increase the speed of transmission also you will have to increase the bandwidth also okay now coming to the second kind uh, broadband transmission now in broadband transmission to transmit digital signal this signal is first converted into an analog signal and this analog signal is then sent over the transmission link okay now uh, in case of broadband transmission the channel that is used for transmission may not have a bandwidth that starts at zero okay so with bandwidth not starting at zero and also the channel may not be dedicated the channel might be shared by multiple parties and multiple signals might be transmitted through the channel by dividing it logically into separate parts okay so the link through which or the physical medium through which communication is happening can be shared in the case of broadband transmission and the most common example that uses broadband transmission is the digital uh, sub cellular telephone which is used to send computer data okay so these were the two kinds of digital transmission that can be used for uh, transmitting digital data one is the broadband transmission and the other is the baseband transmission so that's all for today thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exams